Hey everybody, Sherman here from the WP Buy Now team. And in this video, I'm going to go over the general settings tab on your brand new plugin WP Buy Now. Okay, if you go over here to your WP Buy Now tab and scroll down, you will see settings. If you click on that, you will be brought to this page here. It's very important that you do this right off the bat, I recommend. You got to add your license code here. I recommend filling in all these fields is what I mean right off the right off the get go, okay? Your license code here, folks, okay? You withdraw holding percent, okay? This I like to set at 10%. Default is 5. But what this is, does is protects for refunds on your affiliates, okay? Once they finish promoting and you're sure there will be no more refunds, it, it, it passes your time, then you can go ahead and issue the with, rest of the withdrawal holding, okay? Here you indicate the amount that is a withdrawal minimum that your affiliates can they have to earn this amount before they can withdraw okay here is the different methods that they can use for the withdrawals they can use PayPal alert pay or solid trust pay and it's, the choice is yours whichever one you want to deal with here you will set up your currency this is your currency setting I'm in the US of A so of course I'm going to use the dollar but if you're not here's a whole list of different currencies around the world that you can feel free to use okay here very important after you create a product and a sales page and you make a sale and you send the customer their login details and they log in this is the page that it will take you take them I'm sorry I am human <laughs> I'm sorry this is the page that will take your customers or your affiliates or whoever you uh, whoever you indicate here okay whoever you main this for after your login here I designated the landing page download page that I created earlier in the other videos you will see this basically has my download links on it which I also protected by the way okay now if by some chance you are going to update or you want to remove it from this blog you can choose to delete the whole database or leave it intact if you choose to leave it intact your database will still be there when you reinstall the plugin or update the plugin via deleting and reinstalling okay and here you will save all the settings that I just went through up above this will save the settings right here okay down here folks is if you have a complete setup on your WordPress installation that you want to save okay back up and restore this is always a good recommendation okay uh, if you can choose to restore one that you had saved before and you're in great shape okay you will got to remember where you placed it on your PC and you'll be able to upload and restore at any time here you can download your backup file by clicking on this button okay folks this has been the general settings video I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video bye for now